on this RV short, we're going to take this little wall that's in the FD model. And we did this vinyl thing in the past. And it bounces around, falls off. It's just not really what we want. So I want to make something a little more permanent. And so this is what I came up with. This little piece right here. I've already built it. And it's going to go on right there. And we're going to utilize that for pretty much bag storage. We're going to have trash bags in one and walnut bags another. I'm not sure we'll leave the other one open for something in the future. But anyway, I'm going to go show you how I made this particular box using some material that I had taken out the camper previously and some other stuff I had in my basement. So we'll get to it. And here we go. So on this project, I'm going to use some stuff that came from the camper. This is a divider that was in one of the uh, in one of the actual compartments, I think back by the uh, filter, water filter. So I'm going to use that piece and I also have some pre-painted white pieces and kind of like a shelving material that came from Lowe's. So using my saw, I made these small pieces here with an angle on one side and they're going to set up in the box like kind of like this. with my board over top of it like this which is going to give me little pockets there that's what I'm shooting for and I'll have to make a piece that goes across the back to attach it and a piece at the bottom to keep everything from falling out so I'm going to work on those pieces now using some of this thin stock I have here kind of a masonite board with white on one side so I'm going to use my brad gun here I'm using a 5 8 15 millimeter rel relatively small probably a little less than a half inch and uh, I'm going to nail these on with my nail gun here a little brad gun so we're going to tack this in place now Okay, we got that nailed together. So I'll show you a few dimensions here. This uh, top to bottom, eight and a half inches. This piece across. Probably done bigger if you had a bigger piece of paneling, but this is all I had, so it's uh, 15 and three quarters. And uh, at the bottom, it's going to be about an inch and a half deep. At the top, it's going to be about three. And three quarters deep so we've got all three dividers put in I put them in a five inch from the edge here and also five inches from the edge over here and it makes it just about perfect even it's a little bit bigger in that center section but I'm okay with that because it sets up pretty good so anyway what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this thin stock I have here I'm going to play got a piece right here for the bottom have a fill in this bottom here and then I'm gonna make another piece that's gonna go along this back side here and that's what I'm gonna use that to attach it to the actual camper with several screws and it's not real heavy this is press board so it is a little heavier than I've used a different type of stock with it being that thin front end it's not too bad I think it's going to work out well. So, got my pieces, two pieces ripped out here. This has got the piece turned upside down, so we're going to take and tack that on here on the bottom like that. And then we're going to end up tacking one over here as our attach point on the back. So, got the piece attached, bottom piece attached. And like I say, what you'll see is the white part, bottom, and the top. 
But what I've decided to do is because it's going to sit out a little bit with a little bit of way it sticks out. And then also I don't want just the top to be secured and the bottom to be able to push out if you put a lot of bags because I'm going to use this for bag storage. So we're going to put, we'll make another little tab right down here at the bottom where it comes out a little bit and then comes up a little bit. And we'll attach it here, here. And then when we go to attach it in the camper, we'll have two places to attach here and here, and then here and here. That way it's not gonna push out. So we're gonna go ahead and take a little bit of our stock here, make a little tab that'll go on there. So there you have it. Got the little tab attached there. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is do some, I'm gonna drill some holes in this section here and I'm not sure if I'll have one in the middle probably have one in the middle as well one two three and then two more at the bottom and that will have like a little screw that goes into that side wall there in the camper so I got that installed put two screws on the top and two down at the bottom here the little flange I made and uh, worked out pretty good some people say, why wouldn't you center it? <clears throat> well, my thought is, maybe eventually I'll build something a little more substantial over here to store some other stuff. But for now, it's going to be close to the door because we reach in and grab trash bags as we need them. I did find out a few things. Something that you, if you do this, you'll have to learn from my mistakes. You see a little hole right up here at the top. If you try to screw it in a little higher than what I did, I had about an inch and a half down. But I was going to put it up against that trim. Well, there's actually aluminum back behind there. So the screw actually hit the aluminum. So I had to drop it down so it wouldn't hit that aluminum. So just something to let you know. And uh, I think this project's going to work out pretty good for us. It's a little more permanent. It's pretty sturdy. Got a little bit of touch up to do. I gotta come in here and touch up some of these little nail holes with some white putty. Make it a little, little better. But pretty happy. Uh, if you want to know how I did this or anything that you might have done in this particular area to have more storage, leave it in the comments and I'll get back with you. And uh, we'll see you again on another one of these RV shorts.